Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Cinnamon. So in today's video, I am going to talk to you about how I tint my eyebrows. Um, in my original intro, which I accidentally deleted, um, I had one eyebrow just penciled in and one eyebrow with nothing on it. No pencil, no tint, no nothing. Um, but like I said, I accidentally deleted it. So this is the after effects of tinting my eyebrows. And as you can see, I feel like they turned out really, really well. Um, sometimes I have to go over it twice, but uh, I pretty much nailed it today. Uh, I use Garnier Nutrice. You can use whatever hair color you choose. Um, it is a two to one ratio. And um, I go over all the measurements in the video. Um, but as long as you keep the color sealed, and the developer sealed you don't take off this outermost part um, it's two parts developer one part color uh, it is a little tricky to get those measurements down because I don't have a, a measuring I probably could use like a teaspoon or something like that um, but I just eyeball it so you know I do one squeeze and two little droplets um, it has worked for me um, I really am very happy with the results as you can see you know they look really great and I would be very comfortable leaving the house with just having my eyebrows tinted um, in my before the intro that I had before it showed what my eyebrows look like without a, without penciling them in without coloring them in and they are very sparse they are very very baby fine hair they have been that way since I was a little girl. Um, it's not from over tweezing them. It's not from over waxing them. I've never waxed my eyebrows. Um, I've only ever tweezed like in this area here, a little bit smidge under here if they came down like a little far and I had like stray hairs and I've never tweezed up here. This, my hair is just naturally very, very thin. So let's get into the video and i am going to go into the bathroom and my husband will be filming thank you honey again for helping me out so that i have both hands free and then i'm going to step by step show you how i mix it how i apply it and uh whatnot so i hope you enjoy the video and i will see you in a few minutes all right okay so here we are in my bathroom with my wonderful husband say hi hi <laughs> All right, so it's one part color. So I'm gonna just squeeze one drop in there like that. You don't need a whole lot because you're only doing your eyebrows. And then it's two part developer, shake it up. And I leave, I, I never take the tip off of it because then the air will get into it and the developer then at that point's no good. So then I just go one, two. You, you'll have to work with the ratios um, because it's really not an exact science. It's not like when you go to a salon and they have a mixing bowl and they know. So then I take the color and I mix it. I mix it up. Just like that. Um, I'll do is I'll just take a piece of toilet paper here and wipe off the end. So that's the mixing stage of it. And basically that's it. I think, like I said, it, you're going to have to play around. I think I might do just a smidge more color. The basic ratio is two to one. Let me mix it up a little more. I was thinking about maybe doing like an eyedropper. That way I know exactly that I need to get an eyedropper. That way I know exactly that it's two parts and one part. So that's that's it. It's mixed up in, in this old cap that I have. And so that's all you need to do to mix it up. So we're going to stop the video and I'm going to hook it up so that I can, you know, have the camera in front of me and you guys can see me apply it to my eyebrows so i will catch you in a second okay everybody so we're set up so that i can show you my hair is all over the place exactly 
how I do this. Um, I am going to be like looking up because I have the bathroom mirror behind me. Um, looking up this way, but back also down here. I mean, right there where the camera is. So basically how I start is I take my flat, you know, it's an angle definer brush and I'll dip it into my color. I'm like, ooh, really close. Dip it into my collar, take off a little bit of the excess, and I just start real gently over my hair. And I'll turn it to the pointy side this way. And like I said, they are penciled in um, so that I can have a guide on where my hair is and exactly where I want the color. And the reason I showed you what my eyebrow looked like with no color and no hair is because when the color has set and I go to take it off, you're going to actually, you're going to really see a difference on what just tinting them will do. So, you know, I'll do a couple, I'll go a couple times. You don't want to slop it on there because you're trying to color your hair. It is going to get on your skin, obviously, but the idea is to just... I mainly focus on the hair. I do have a Q-tip in my hand um, that I go like up under just to trace up under my eye to make sure that the color is just on my eyebrow. Um, so and like I said, I sometimes do like two passes if needs be up under okay so that's one eye done um, it doesn't take very long to put on at all and you're gonna leave it set for I want to say because you know my hair's um you know I've tested it it takes for me like at least 20 minutes for it to really do the job that I need for it to do on my eyebrows um, even though my hair is like thin, it is still kind of coarse in some spots because your hair gets like, like a little old and brittle. So, and I have a couple of gray hairs in my brows. So gray hair is a little resistant to color. It needs to sit on there a little bit longer and just go along. Gently. As you can see, the developers, I mean, the color and developer are working its magic. You can see how darker, how dark it's getting already. And just clean up with the Q-tip. Dipping in. The top part, I kind of like pat, pat and move through. Okay, so that is like the first pass, as you want to say, on having my color on. I had a picture of my sink and the mixing part of my the video, and as you can see, it got stained because I dropped it one day, and try as I might, if anybody ha out there has an idea how to get color off of my sink please comment below because i have tried everything clorox cleanup i have tried you know scrubbing 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 and i can't get that stain out from where i dropped the color one day all right so looking pretty good You know, I've, I know that there are other tinting things out there you can order offline. You know, I've heard about thousand hour brows and that sort of thing. But again, you know, if you can do it at home without having to order something off of offline or something super expensive, this is a great alternative. It's cheap. This box was like 
five or six bucks on sale, you know, and it's going to last me a while. It's going to last me probably at least another two, two to three months worth, at, at least another two to three months worth. So now I'm going to leave this sit on my brows for 20 minutes. I'm going to check back in with you. I'm going to take the color off on camera and we're going to see how dark my natural eyebrows have gotten. So I will check back with you in about 20 minutes. Okay, sit tight. Okay, okay guys, so it has been 20 minutes and time for the big reveal. Um, one thing that you should know in my years of working in a salon is color removes color, okay? So I am going to get some warm water and always, always a clean washcloth. Um, some warm water on my clean washcloth, just like this. And I'm going to rub just like this. get off all the excess color oh, did a really really good job okay and I'm gonna go one more time over All right, so as you can see, all the color is, is off. Look at my eyebrows. Wow. I'm always, uh, still always like so amazed, you know, <laughs> even after doing it for like the last few months. Every time I take off the color, I'm like, oh, look, I have eyebrows and I haven't even colored them in, you know. And do the other one. Round in a circle. Color removes color. You know, I, I never scrub too hard because I don't want to yank out whatever eyebrows I do have. Just... I don't think I need to do a second pass. I think they turned out exactly great the first time around. And so this is, and all the color is off. You can see, like, the, all the color is off. And this is after tinting my eyebrows. Pretty good, I would say. So if you have any doubts about, about it, it clearly works. All right. Took three, five, three to five minutes to mix it, not even. 20 minutes for the color to soak in. Now, when I go to do my makeup tomorrow, you know, it doesn't completely fill them in because the hair is thin, but it has darkened them. So now when I go to fill them in, all I have to do is try and make them look fuller. So that's all that's going to contain is me maybe taking some black eyeshadow or a, a really dark pencil, which I do have a darker brown blackish pencil and just make you know making them look fuller but as far as the color is concerned it's spot on to where I want it to be so we're going to finish up the video in my room so you can really see it in a, in a different light and I will catch you in a minute if I can get the video to stop <laughs> okay so we're finishing up the video and as you can see I mean, holy cow, right? Just from tinting them. What a huge difference it makes. Um, you know, tomorrow morning when I go to do my makeup and, you know, do my eyebrows, it's clearly making them dark, my, my hair, my brow hairs, darker. It's not making them fuller. I would have to tweak them a little bit, but if I wanted to go makeup free one day, like at least I have something that's going to frame my face and it literally took three minutes to mix up the color you know 20 minutes to set on your eye and boom you're done and this is gonna this is gonna look this way and and stay this way for about two weeks 
pushing it is three, okay? But, you know, it takes time, it takes effort. I know not everybody has the time to do it. And, and trust me, I get it. I, you know, I'm a mother of three. Although they're grown, I remember what it's like having little ones run around and also working a full-time job. And for me, it was a multiple jobs at one time. So this is just, you know, if you have the time to do it, invest the time to do it. Like I said, I use Garnier. Use whatever brand you prefer, okay? Like I showed you in my bathroom, do not take that outer tip off because then it will distort the developer and it will you cannot use it because the developer will you know have air hit it and then it's no good keep that lid on play around with the color you know it's not permanent so if you screw it up the first time it's, it'll be better the second time but this is just my tip my trick to you um i hope that it you know you learn something if you have any questions you have any comments please leave them for me i love hearing from people it you know whether it's positive or negative I love communication with somebody that has viewed my videos. It really touches my heart. So thank you so much for watching today. And you know what I'm going to say. I'm sending you light and I'm sending you love. And be blessed. Have an awesome day. Always have a positive outlook on life. And I love you for watching my videos. It means everything to me. I am not doing this to get a million subscribers. That's not for me what this is about. This is me just being me and putting myself out there, sharing things that I know, hoping that it reaches someone and touches someone. If you subscribe, it would mean the world to me. If you don't, that's okay too. Just having somebody view this video and saying, you know what? I always wanted to do it. Now somebody showed me. That means everything to me. So be blessed. Have an awesome, awesome day. I will catch you in my next video and thanks for watching.